Hey, here's an every mechanic should know another thing too. Okay, this is grease, right? Yep. Where is this tube of grease being used on motor as a motorcycle mechanic? Almost everywhere. <laughs> Almost everywhere, right? You know, clamps, uh, bearings, seals, uh, any anything we want to put a shaft through. I it drives me crazy when I come in and see this sitting underneath here. Okay, this isn't only used for chassis stuff. You're digging into the same grease bucket to work on motor parts. So treat this like it's fragile. I mean, that's one way to look at it. I want to make sure that I protect this. So in this case, we'll make sure and keep it back up a little bit with the camera. Keep that, that grease out of the way where you reach for it and then do what you need and then right away cover it back up. Sound good? Yep. Hello again. Uh, we spent a lot of time this year talking about area prep and you know, thinking about what we do before we start to work in a workspace. And we've really followed some of the models that are really successful from the medical industry. And I'm not saying you have to have something so perfectly clean that you could eat off the floor. I mean, there's there's race shops that people out there do operate that way. We want to be realistic and we want to think about what really happens out in industry. The problem is, is we're all just copying what's always been done. It's It's messy, it's unorganized. And it's really inefficient. I just don't understand why the majority of motorcycle shops will uh, choose to, to work that way with such dysfunction. Uh, if anybody's ever read the book uh, or listened to the audio book, A Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, there's this great section in there where they talk about what causes failures. And they talk about that when you get, uh, and, and don't quote me for this, but it's the general idea that when you're hot or you're cold or you're wore out or you're stressed or or uh, you know uncomfortable that's when you tend to really make mistakes and so you're gonna see in these videos that we're doing uh, kind of a real awareness to not only how we prep things ahead of time but how we work during a procedure so in this particular example with the the tube of grease there though excuse me a little bucket of grease it's just uh, you gotta think and you gotta think about if that dirt or you're working on an ATV or something that dirt's falling in that grease and now you take that same tube of grease and you go to uh, lube up a bearing uh, inside a motor how about forks you know brand new fork seals or whatever that we're, we're just actually hurting stuff uh, as much as we're trying to help it so you know people often wonder why is it that I buy a motorcycle or an ATV and it lasts you know five years and, and the moment I have someone work on it all of these problems develop and I, I know we see this in other industries as well and it's just that we're, we're not duplicating a lot of our, our good work practices like they would at the uh, manufacturer where they work in a you know a clean organized environment so if you like it that's great I, I hope you dig it but I'm definitely gonna work with uh, with you guys my students here to uh, to just encourage you to really think things through and uh, take a look at what you're really doing so anyway uh, thanks for another great day of just uh, doing some quality work thanks